Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is SmilingJet4, and welcome back to some more Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13. So, in our last video, we took on the final extra boss of the main campaign of this game, if you want to call it that. I guess. However you want to put it. We took on Snow Villiers Plus Plus, and, uh, it was I'd pro he'd probably be a scholar. Just saying that right now. But today, in all seriousness, we are going to be taking on one of two super bosses. Personally, my least favorite because of how difficult and how quick you have to be with this fight. I'm not joking. It is ball-bustingly difficult. And today, we're taking on Arrow Knight. Now, for any of you guys that are watching my main LP on the channel, you will know that I actually ran into a man who talked about doing a quest to get a piece of meat from said Arrow Knight. I initially dismissed it as I wasn't going to do it in the main LP, but instead I'm going to be doing it here in New Game Plus mode. Hard mode. On my first New Game Plus. And my oh my. This is going to be very difficult. That's literally all I can say about this. Anyway, now here's the thing. Unless this is your third time doing New Game Plus with all the mission quests completed, all that kind of stuff, you know, you've had a bunch of experience for this, I then recommend, well, the strategy will kind of be a bit null and void, as it won't be as difficult. However, should you choose to do hard mode and go for this guy on your first New Game Plus, you will need a bunch of... A freaking ethers. And look at this. One, two, three, four, five. Five ethers. First one fight. And of course you also need some X potions and Phoenix wings. A refresher is for an ex in case of emergency kind of use, but overall might not use it at all. And yeah. My this is gonna be difficult. Now for this fight, I've actually changed up my schematic quite a bit. Apparently not a bit enough. I forgot to actually trade this out. Uh, let me do this real quick. Sorry about this. Okay, much better. Alright, so I've already equipped a different set of schemata. I've changed everything except for the Dark Muse. That still stays there, as it is. However, now I have the Quiet Guardian. Now, the Quiet Guardian is a class in which case, with the right setup, you can make this thing invulnerable to one of the two different types of attacks, physical or magical. I set up the Quiet Guardian to be a magical defense with a Prada Hood and a Runic Ring to boost. This will essentially mean invulnerable to all Aga spells, which is a good sign seeing as Arrow Knight really loves Aga spells. And unless you've got a Heroic Guard, this is going to be very painful to watch. Aside from that, I've also got myself a D Shell with a status ailment duration of plus 10%, default Heavy Guard at level 2, a Heavy Slash that's has 10 times its normal attack rate, very helpful on hard mode, with a maximum ATB plus 15, gonna be helpful, and an Aurora, with wind attribute attacks plus 10%. Now, Aurora is one of the most vital things with this fight. Now, granted you could do this with any of the aura spells, but Aurora is the best as Aurora actually keeps a stagger gauge thresh threshold at a certain thing for a certain period of time. Enough for you to keep the thing going without there being too much leeway. Very handy feature. For a Dark Muse, I have a Mage Hunter's Mask, as per usual. I've equipped a Stigma onto it. And a new item that I did not show off in the LP, the White Strap, which increases resistance to Fog Magic. Now, Fog isn't exactly a big thing with this guy, but you want to become prepared just in case. It's really disheartening when you're unprepared for minor minor things like that, just saying this right now. Also, I have a D-Protect Star with maximum HP plus 600, not that big of a deal. A Metaguard for when I need to heal up in between things, but honestly, I may never do that. Heavy Slash, that's a locked thing. And Aurora, like always. And now onto the main piece of deal resistance. Now, if you want to reduce the amount of ethers you use within this fight, I recommend having Soldier of Peace, otherwise having any class with a Heavy Slash will be very helpful. For a weapon, I have something brand new, the Heaven's Cloud, a longsword forged for relentless physical attacks 
and nothing else. It has strength plus 4,000. 4,000. That's nearly twice as much as the Ultima weapon itself. And keep in mind, this is not the final day. So yeah, that's the thing. It's also got hard hitter level 2. Increases the chance of making an enemy recoil upon attacking. Probably not going to do anything, but it's there for you need it. Now, the reason I have the Soldier of Peace compared to other garbs, mainly because of the Shadow Bind, which gives you an automatic ability, the Artemis' Arrows. Transforms any equipped Heli Slash into the powerful ability, Artemis' Arrows, which increases attack by, I believe, 1.5, was it? All doubling the Heli Slash damage. Very helpful. As again, we're going to deal as much damage as we can in the shortest amount of time with this man. Yes, there is a time limit, and it is not pretty. So, uh, with all that said and done, I've gone over everything I need to, now into the real fight. Now, where is there a knight, you may ask? Well... Because he was so... They actually have this orb in his place. Come on down to this thing, and... It knows us, and then... Get a slash on it. You Very vital. Mine. And there it is. The Arrow Knight. Now, we've already taken 4 million of his HP away thanks to that good 10 hits. If you can get a great on it, even better, but I don't think that's very possible. Now this guy. This guy scared the life out of me when I was actually preparing for this. I mean, look at him. He's so ferocious. If we're... If he had lower HP, like that of Snow and Snow, or Snow and Null, I, I wouldn't be really too afraid. But the fact that he has 34 million HP on his disposal, he can really frighten the, the worst in you. It's not happy. That aside, this guy has four stagger conditions. First one, physical and magical attacks. Second, attacks are their first stagger. It's just basically a repeat. Now, like I said, this fight has a time limit in itself. You want to deal as much damage as you can to this guy in the shortest amount of time possible. Because if you are too slow, he will get up and run away. Yes, and the boss that actually flees. Just like the freaking Cactuar. It's a shame, really. But what are you going to do, honestly? Now, main strategy here, go for the Auroras. Right there, he's going for the Magnet. If you can avoid that, Go right for it. You'll usually know it by his movements. If he's not performing an Aga spell, or an Aura spell, he'll be doing the other stuff. A uh, Megaton break, okay. Act quick here. If you're lucky, and I say lucky... Oh, got lucky! We got lucky! We got lucky, okay. I was about to say, you can stagger him before he gets a chance to do the Megaton break, but... That's even more amazing. He didn't even he didn't get to hit us. He barely scratched us. So yeah, perfect timing's also very helpful in this game. Yeah, do your Thundars all you want. I'm gonna deshell your butt off. Come on, Blazar. Yep. Come on, get staggered. Ow. Come on. He's so close. Yeah, that's it. Roar. Roar to your heart's content. That will not save you today. Come on, he's so close. He's actually so close. There it is. And upon the stagger, he does unleashes that. If you're too close, it'll most likely kill you. you and now he's going for another Megaton break, although this time around, it takes a lot longer to actually charge up, so you can actually get a quicker chance to actually take him down. However, like last time, be ready. Come on. And... Perfect guard. Perfect. Now he guards everything in this phase. To get through on a D-shell again. Now he's doing wins. He's doing August spells. Make sure you are prepared with that. Just keep on throwing the Auroras. He's gonna go for the Magnet attack. The Aurora's gonna stop him in his tracks. All the way from Utah! Oh, and I timed that badly. Whoops. Uh, Aurora, Aurora, Aurora. Come on, keep that good standard special. That's it. That's it. There the girl. Show me your strength. I dare ya. Okay, gotta get in another one of those. Aurora, Aurora, Hanga. Okay, now I cannot do any physical attacks. Not too threatening, as again, I'm not aiming for physical attacks. Oh, yeah, wait for that to go. That's over. 
And then Aurora's yet again. Lazaga. Yep. Yeah. Well played, my friend. Uh, Megaton break. Can we get this in time? Can we get this before he gets the chance? It should be possible. And I'm kind of actually worried, so I'm going to refresh in for your in-case emergency needs. I recommend having one of those. If you can't ha have one of those, then so be it. But, you know. So much damage. So little time. And during this, I'm going to heal up with an X potion. And try again. Oh. Bing, 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 bing. Little damage, but nothing too threatening. Oh, is these shells lasted? Is Aurora not? There it is. Come on, Aurora. Oh, no. Too close. Too close. Get away from me. I want nothing to do with you. Just stay where you're at. Okay. Get away from him again. Oh, no, not this. Oh, that was too close. Okay. Way too close. Act quick. And just keep throwing him on. Health flare. Health flare, as far as I'm aware, cannot be defended. Check us out. Still knocks me out flat. That's why I again want to have the Phoenix Wing. And I mean the Phoenix Wing. Well, it restores your health and gives you a haste. Very handy thing. Seeing as our ATB is running out pretty quickly in this phase. Yeah, that's it, Arrow Knight. Do your worst, I dare thee. And he's going for another Panga. Again, not too worried about it. I'm just worried about staggering him. One, two, three. Keep it going, keep it going, keep that threshold going. Yep, come on. Oh, nice try. Yeah, keep on roaring. Keep on roaring. And good buddy. So close. I can smell it. Blazaga, Blazagas, Blazagas, Blazagas. Okay, he's staggered again. One more time, and we should be done here. Got to throw on our shell. Very helpful. Yeah, throw on your Panga. Do your worst. Oh, Tornado. Yeah, now he's bringing out the big guns. He's bringing out the major surge spells. Again, resistance to all magic. He should be good, hopefully. It'd be sad if we weren't. And then, of course, another Hell Flare. So just gonna use all of our arrows on it. Get KO'd in the process. One Phoenix Wing later. And we're all up and ready and dandy. And we should be ready to finish this off. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Ah, Faga. Good thing you got that complete resistance to it. Very anything. Surge. And he's done. Although this is going to take a while to get done. Okay, you're done? Okay, good. And now, for the piece of resistance, we're going all out with Armis' arrows. And more importantly... Oh, wrong thing. Can be using overclock like nobody's business. Yes, very important. Make sure you have overclock. As again, time limit. If you're unprepared, then this will take forever and a half. That being, that being said, having a bunch of ethers can really make this process not as painful and or difficult. You also have to be ready for all those attacks when they happen. But overall, this is the easiest part of it. Look at this, he's almost halfway down with his HP. And as long as we switch out to back to the Quiet Guardian, we should be good to go. Our plan should be safe and sound. Yeah, he's gonna do that. This will give me a chance to use an Aether real quick, just for when I need to use it again. And I got to throw on a deep protect yet again, because of reasons. Oh, he's gonna about to use it. One, two, three. Let that hit me. And keep going. Keep on going. And again. One. Two. Ruinaga. Yep. There's that. There's that. Get late me for the little recharge. And now. 
Let's finish this. Our misses arrows. He's almost done here. Look at that. If only we could be this lucky before. Our misses arrows. It's almost over. One last hit should do the trick. Bingo was his Nemo. And now the fight is over. Oh. A seven minute fight. Definitely much longer. And of course, because of the limit break, we can't measure the score, but honestly, that does not matter to me. We succeeded, I'm happy, and you guys should be too. And now we just, just we've, this, blah, we've exterminated every Arrow Knight. Got the Monster Flesh, and for beating him on hard mode, we get Disaster Level 1. We've seen this very rarely, but I'll go, go over it as soon as this fight is over, or this thing's over. And like any other enemy, that is the last one. He drops an item, the Falcon Charm! Falco Charm! Oh hoo Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I believe it's in this one. Yeah, here it is. Falcon Charm. Increases ATB recovery by 70. Very helpful. Later on. And as for Disaster, cast D Brave, D Faith, D Protect, D Shell, and Curse on the target and deal magic damage. It costs 100 ATB! But when you level it up, Man does a pack quite a punch. And I recommend trying to get this on your third playthrough if you're not doing this on your first New Game Plus. And I would say this is the end of it, but I want to do one more thing before that. Now, we got the Monster Flesh for that one quest, correct? So, what do you say we get that quest done and over with? I will see you guys in about 5 seconds when we head back to the man with the quest. See you guys then. And now, the time of reckoning is at hand. Nolan? I have been waiting for you. Did you succeed? Did you defeat the beast? And have you brought me back the material I need for my studies? That I have? And buddy, you better have a good reward for this. I had to use an ether for this fight. Well, granted, the Artemis' arrows made things not as bad as my previous attempts, but still, you owe me big time. It took a while, Here. but I got what you wanted. Oh, so you have actually done it. With this material, I can conclude my research and prove all of my hypotheses. So, how is that stuff gonna prove your theories? Are you gonna run tests on it? Yes, a test of sorts. I shall take this sample and eat it. Did you eat it? Eat? That beast came from outside this world. It is not part of the warped time in which humanity now lives. It has something that we, with our ageless lives, now lack. Thus I theorize that by eating of its flesh and making it one with my own, I may be able to escape my timeless state. I trust you understand the implications. You Logic! You hunt this thing down, and now you want to eat it? All so that you can grow old again? Precisely. I wish to age and die, as was once normal for humans. I'll finally be able to experience it for myself, to feel as this body, unchanged for 500 years, finally withers, life fleeing at last. So you want to die of old age? I want to experience everything life has to offer. I was lucky enough to be born and to live. Why wouldn't I wish to also grow old and die? My Gee, I wonder aging. why! Aging and dying don't seem too bad. No, they don't. And now I'll finally be able to achieve this last great goal, thanks to you. The only thing I fear is the taste. It looks terrible. <laughs> you better savor every bite. Another of life's experiences. Of course. I truly do appreciate this boon. I knew that if anyone could help me achieve my dream, it would be you, the savior. So you knew who I was? I could tell at once that you have joined this world from another time. That's why I was sure you would be able to help me. Please accept my most sincere gratitude. I'm so terribly grateful that I got to meet you before the end.
All right. Our award, a 2000 Gil. <sighs> Not a. We got what was it? How much Gil did we get? Oh, that's right, 32,000 from defeating, uh, from defeating Null and Snow. Okay, I'll say it's because it is a side quest and all that, so I guess it makes sense. But still, though, you could get a little better stuff. Well, at least we got beret, and of course these increases. But now my next task: I must research how to best cook and consume the flesh of the beast that you hunted for me. I plan to fully experience everything this world has to offer before I might go to get a taste of the next world. <sighs> and thus again, logic seems to escape me in the world of Final Fantasy, dang it. Like for example, how exactly would this aging process work? If he eats the flesh then, well he'll just immediately grow old and die? Or will it be like Filiana? You know, the lady who actually escaped the whole timeless state thingy already? I don't know. Frankly, I'm too tired to even ask. I'm 25 minutes into this one video and that's not counting stuff I have to edit out. Or, well yeah, that is counting the stuff I need to edit out. So, with that said and done guys, Tomorrow remains the last super boss. Personally, not as difficult as Arrow Knight here, as there is not a time limit, but overall, he'll still be a quite challenge and uh, might even take longer to defeat. But yeah, there we go, guys. That is going to do it for another episode of Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13. If you did enjoy, as always, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below to show your support for the series. And as always, if you are new here to the series, and want to see Final Fantasy E all the way to the end of this road to 15 by finishing off the final super boss and the final boss boss of this game then make sure you have subscribed for the latest in RPG content and until next time this is my Android for signing out have a great rest of your day take care I hope to see you guys tomorrow with another episode and pray to the gods I get a good nap because I will not be able to sleep with this cafeteria on my head. But anyway, take care.